Hello, my name is Carlos and we picked up our brand new 2018 Bank Bed Deluxe directly from Casitas factory and we drove all the way from San Diego, California. The trip took us um, about 36 hours to complete and we spent the night at a friend of mine's house in Houston, Texas. And then very next morning we w wake up really really early and so we could be the very first people showing up so we were first in line to do the orientation So as soon as we walk in, we were greeted by a very nice uh, receptionist and she offered us coffee and hot cocoa for my daughter and uh, she made us feel very welcome. And um, while we were waiting for Chastity, which is our um, sales representative, to I guess getting all the paperwork ready, uh, we decided to take a peek at a couple of trailers that were being exhibited at the floor over there. Owning a Casita travel trailer has been a long dream of mine. It's been on the back of my head for way, way too long. And uh, the reason why I didn't bought one before was because it was, when I found one that I liked, that I really liked, the price uh, was too high compared to a brand new one and when I found one that it was in the price range that I was willing to pay uh, the compromising on the options that the casita has were too much for, for, for me to agree on and so after you know going back and forth for many times I decided that the best option for us would be to just take a plunge and buy a brand new one. And uh, if you're going through the same process, I strongly suggest you that you do the same. Um, that way you can configure the casita in any way you want. Uh, the options are unlimited, pretty much. So uh, yeah, um, one of the things that you also uh, will see at the end of this speed up video is that uh, when I brought in my car, uh, I did not have a trailer brake controller and uh, it is not a problem, you can drive it without it, but um, after I arrived back to San Diego, I realized that I kind of warped a little bit of uh, uh, one of my um, brake rotors. So if you're going to go and pick up your casita and you're ready to go, make sure you install a brake uh, controller on your vehicle. That way when you brake, uh, the casita is put in the same amount of load on the braking process. Very, very important, I think, uh, for you uh, before you buy the casita. We'll work our way around the front on the outside. Now, real quick, these are empty. We do not supply gas. We don't do that. Okay. Uh, now, these are your standard grill bottles, so you pre pretty much go anywhere and exchange them or keep them and just, you know, uh, keep your filling. Yeah. And of course, we do recommend that you keep them closed while you drive for safety. Okay. Any questions on that? Uh, yeah, you're supposed to keep the uh, refrigerator off while you're driving. So. Uh, no, you can have it on. Oh. Yeah, but not on gas. Not well. You can. We just yeah. recommend, recommend that, you that you don't. So you, you, we recommend that you use it off of DC battery. Okay. Now your car is recharging the trailer battery supply of power to the fridge. So yes, it can keep running. Okay. Uh, for as long as you're driving. So, Are you good? Yeah. yeah. And later on, I'm going to put that cover, but we'll come back to yeah. that. Now, let me give you guys a tip right here. Uh -huh. um, I don't know if, it's, uh, if I said this on the video or not, but um, as you guys come in and out of the trailer, don't leave the door just swinging loose. You know, it gets windy out there, the wind will slam it, oh. and this meets with that, and oh, it can punch a hole. Yeah. Exactly. I actually I bought uh, one, and I'm going to have okay, it Okay, good. Put that right, right there. there. Yeah. We finish with uh, even with that little bumper, you still always want to keep it closed or latched up. Okay. Right 
Okay. Again, just to protect this guy yeah. right here. Yeah. Um, we're gonna come back to that. Yeah. There's two little brackets. That's for the awning. Yeah. And That's of course. Nice. Yeah. Awning. Yeah. And before you guys take off, of course. Remember to tuck that in. Right. Before you go. Right. Um, back of the refrigerator. There's really nothing for you guys to to mess with, except to um, keep it clean. So just vacuum it out. It'll no, pick up dust as you, you know, go how through roads. How often do you do that? Probably at the end of a trip, end of a trip. at the end of the season. If, you, if you're on the road all the time, just wait until yeah. you get done with the, yeah. with the trip. Yeah. Um, other than that, that's pretty much all you have to do. Now, when you put the vents back in there, uh -huh. make sure that you go back in, lock them. So you uh, turn, it. turn that yeah. water turn. Yeah. Otherwise, they're going to end up on the higher. Right. So same thing for the bottom. Again, this is uh, the bottom part of the fridge. Does it have an electronic ignition, or do you have yes. to light it? Yes, no, 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 it's all automatic. Now, yeah. this is done from the inside. You control it from the inside. So yeah. I'll show you how that goes. There's right. nothing we can do to do other than clean. We're not out here except to clean. Keep it okay. clean. That's yeah. it. Very good. That's it. And there's the old train thing, I said. <laughs> yep. Is there any uh, special uh, maintenance you're supposed to do on the fridge? Because um, I know I don't just, know about this one, but other ones kind of have trouble. Just to keep it clean. That's the most important thing you can do. There's no moving parts, yeah. so there's no replacing of any parts uh, yeah. uh, as part of the maintenance. Now it's just just yeah. mm -hmm. just about keeping it clean. Okay. A um, couple of AC outlets nice. that you can use when you're hooked up to electricity. You can hook okay. up a fan, lights, a radio, you know, things like that. Yeah. Now right. this is the furnace vent. This is where it'll exchange in. Uh, so you don't have to do anything now. A lot of guys they buy screens to keep bugs from going in there. So uh, you yeah. can buy. We don't have it here, but you can buy them like at Amazon. Or, We're going over to layer uh, your car. Yeah. So uh, these are supposed to be at 65, and it says that right there in big letters. So yeah, uh, just keep it on that. Now, before you guys go, I'm gonna do that. So oh, test it. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna test them. Make sure they're they're there. I'm also going to check those lugs. I'm going to yeah. tighten them down pretty oh, good. So, right uh, on your way home, you know, check them every once in a while. Yeah. Okay. What's the, uh, what's the torque? Supposed uh, to be 90, on? Anywhere from 90 to 120 uh, pounds. Okay. Mm -hmm. right. um, up here, that's the range hood vent. Before you use it, you need to unlock it. And to do that, you just push these tabs up. So, okay. Now, when you're cooking and, you know, you, you have the range hood fan on, this will allow the smoke and the fumes to come out, so it's not in there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, before you hit the road, uh, you need to lock it. Otherwise, it, it will allow dust and rain to go in this. Oh, okay. And right here, there's really no store, outside storage on these trailers, so, uh, but you can throw some blocks, some chalks, you know, just little stuff. Okay. Yeah. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah. And this one has the upgraded um, yes. tank, right? Your tank, yeah, a 25 gallon. The other one would have been probably okay. Oh, this one's bigger. Yeah, it's a it's a little bigger. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, and from here, you can see how much water you have. We don't have any gauges, so this would be oh, gauge. <laughs> yeah. 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 Let me pull it up a little bit. Yeah. We have the fresh water field. So to put water in the tank we just looked at, you go through here. Oh, so basically yeah. you just oh. remove the cap, stick the hose in there and hang on to the hose until you either fill it up or... Right, right. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah, and then of course you can close it and uh -huh. lock it. Yeah. Lock everything. Yeah. Uh, let's say you need to drain the tank. Uh -huh. You reach down here and there's a cap here at the bottom. That basically you just unscrew. Yeah. You just unscrew that. Okay. So that's all for you have. For winterizing? Mm -hmm. Yeah, for winterizing. Or again, just to empty it, yeah. Just so that you don't have water standing there for a long period of time. Um, different subject. In the bumper, um, you have the sewer hose. Now, this is a standard universal sewer hose cringe. I'm gonna show you how to connect it and how that works, yeah. but it's again pretty standard. Yeah. Okay. So, now, when you put the caps back in there, you wanna make sure that you know that it goes all the way in, but also oh, 
push that in? Push that in, and what happens is it expands and it locks. It. Oh. Uh, One more thing. Uh, here in the back, there's two jacks to keep the trailer from from feeling like a boat when you're yeah. in there, right? Uh huh. So here they are. They're pretty simple. So all you gotta do is grab it and pull it out. Okay. Uh, get some blocks. Right at the bottom. Press this handle here. You see that drops. Okay. Now. You have this guy in the closet. Uh, so what you're gonna do, you're gonna make sure this goes in, but make sure it goes all the way through. Uh, and what I mean by that, make sure it comes out the other side. Yeah. And you're just gonna crank it down a few times. Two or three times. Yeah. Think of it as an old truck jack, you know, where you had yeah. to do that. Is there, a, is there a level built in on it that you can look at? Yeah. Yeah, over there by the front and yeah. by the door. All right. uh, now, now, here's the thing. These jacks are not for leveling. Oh, they're not? They're just to stabilize, oh. just to keep the trailer from rocking. Oh. Oh. Um, so they're not for lifting, not for leveling. Now, to undo it, uh -huh. same little tool. You just mack it a couple of times. Press down and pull up. Down. And up. Right. So they're really simple to use. Yeah. Again, they're just not... Yeah. Um, full size spare. So it's the same wheel, same tire. Yeah. And later on, I'm gonna get you guys a temporary tag. Yeah. Okay. It's good for 60 days. Oh, 60. 60 days. Yeah. Uh, 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 Texas. Yeah. Not in California. Oh. Now, right there. Okay. There's your battery. This is the upgraded battery. That's right? the AGM maintenance free, no water battery. Okay. In reality, all you have to worry about is keeping it charged. So anytime this is plugged in, you're charging it. Okay. And again, when your car is going, it's charging. Yeah. It. Now, so is this fully charged now? Or? Oh yeah. yeah. It's, it's been. Now, can you can you overcharge it or does it have no. a, a thing that it, it clicks it off? It's a smart charger. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you can leave it plugged in all day, all every time. day for however. Yeah. Every time you like. Yeah. yeah. So it's not going to do anything. To it. Yeah. That's. Yes. What's the life expectancy on something These like These batteries, uh, I mean, they have like a two-year warranty. Usually you get three, four, five years out of so them. right around there. Yeah, yeah. So, so you don't have to do any maintenance on that no. one? No, no, that's a good thing. That's why they're so expensive because uh, yeah. Yeah. you yeah. don't have to worry about yeah. taking the water. Okay, right over here, you have the water heater. Now, this water heater works with either electricity or propane, okay? Uh, if you decide to use electricity, then there's a switch right there, uh -huh. and it is an on and off switch. Right now it's turned off, so again, if you decide to use electricity, you just turn it off. For the electricity? Yes, for electric use. Okay. Basically, when you're hooked up electricity, you use it. If you're not, that's when you use gas, so the gas switch is inside okay. of the truck. Which one is on and which one is off? Uh, up. Oh, it's on the little. Or the circle. Yeah. Oh, and this is right there. Yeah. Okay, okay, gotcha. Mm -hmm. Now this is the drain plug. So for winter or storage, you need to drain it. So you have to unscrew that, or you need to get a socket and that's get how you unscrew yeah. it. Before you um, unscrew that, you need to release the pressure up here. Pull it, and then you can unscrew it. And I'll show you later on. Um, where the other switches for um, gas, okay, yeah. and it ignites automatically. That that means you don't have to manually light it or anything. I like the fridge. Okay, this is your cord, so 25 feet long. So you just pull it out and plug it in. Okay. Okay. And here's the solar ready solar uh, panel port. Yeah. So basically, just plug that in. And Question on that one. That one goes to where it goes just to the it battery. It just goes right? to the battery. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just goes to the battery. Um, outside shower, which I think is pretty cool. You get hot and cold out of there. Okay. So. There's a shower. Shower. Yeah. Um, right <laughs> below that you have the city water hookup. Okay, so that's basically where you hook up a, a water hose to it when you're. Yeah. Yeah, that, that'll keep it. <laughs> Okay, um, right here is where you dump the waste tanks. Now, the sewer hose hooks up right here. Just, just like this cap, you just slide it in, then you twist it to lock it, right? 
And what you do after you rotate this oh, down, this spout down, yeah. Now get get a good angle, like a 45, right? Don't point it straight down, because then oh. your hose will kink. Yeah. Nice 45. Uh, then you run it wherever it goes. Now you have two waste sinks, black and gray. Dump the black waste first, so you just pull it, and that's gonna empty the whatever's in the toilet. Uh -huh. So then you close it, then you dump the gray water second, which is the sink and the shower. So this should flush out. Hose up the, the hose for you. Uh, shower. <laughs> quick tip: never have them open at the same time, because then you're black water will backflow oh. and contaminate the other tank. So, yeah. closing, put the cap back on. Yeah. Oh, flip that. Uh, okay. They, they sell like an additional thing that you can use to protect that black thing. Yes, I've yeah. seen that. Now, yeah. if you go through a lot of dirt roads, a lot of gravel roads, that's probably good. Yeah, because your tires are going to be kicking a bunch of right. Right. Uh, rocks and pebbles. Yeah. 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 All right. Okay. Um, let me show you, let's come around here and let me show you how the almond works. I want to show, ask Yeah. We'll use this one here in a minute. So to pull the awning out, you need the, the skinny one with the hook. Basically you just hook it, fold it, and then you crank it. Oh, yeah. So crank it yeah. to about a three foot distance, about right there. At this distance, you should be able to reach the legs that are tucked in here. Now you have instructions right there. Yeah. Basically tells you to pull them out and let them down. There's a knob here, loosen it and bring it down. What you do next is you try to level it. Just, you know, just try to level it and then you tighten the knob. Basically what we're doing, we're putting the weight of the awning on the leg. So now this is carrying the weight. Take things out. Down and up a little. Um, once you have these two guys on the ground, then it'll be up to you how far it goes out. So what you do, crank it, and every once in a while you stop and walk out the legs. Yeah. So again, you decide how far it goes up. Nine foot distance. So let's see. That's a lot. <laughs> yeah, but if it's sunny, you want to block the sun. And then what's the uh, life expectancy on, uh, on the like, target? Um, I've never seen one that oh, they're, they're, that expired. They're, 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 now, here's the thing. You don't have them out enough for the sun to break them. Oh, right. Right. Oh, what happens is the, the wind breaks them. Oh. So this awning is just to give you shade yeah. and shade only. Uh -huh. uh, if it's windy, if it's raining, don't you don't want to have it out. Right. Yeah. yeah. So again, it does it doesn't see enough sun yeah. where it'll. Right. right. This is a nice nice material. It won't. It, won't, it really won't. The sun will oh, never it's get it's to it. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Now, the next thing you want to do is uh, support the center. Uh huh. So the, the, net, the other piece is this guy. So just like the leg, there's a knob right there. Loosen it, and then you hook it. So there's a hook on each side. Yeah. And um, all this does, it just keeps it from sagging. Right? Yeah. So that's all it does. Okay, you don't tighten it. Yeah. You can. I, that's not, okay. But you really don't. Yeah, you don't. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, now, the very last thing you do is you secure those legs. So what you can do, you can stake it to the ground. Uh -huh. But let's say that you, you're at a spot where there's concrete or rocks or whatever, and you couldn't stake it, then you use the, the brackets on the wall. Now, if you go that route, you cannot have the awning all the way out. So we're gonna bring it in about a quarter of the way. But right there, that's as far as you wanna have it out if you're gonna use the bracket. Exactly. Oh, but arms length. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what I always. Yeah. Yeah. So right here, you just swing the leg up. The foot goes in. Uh huh. Lift it and Lock secure it. it. Yeah. And you can always go back and readjust oh, it yeah. as needed. Yeah. So, and again, if you see the wind, take it down. You need to put it up. Yeah. 
nighttime, put it up. If you guys take a walk, take a bike ride, put it up. Yeah. It is just meant for you to be under it, enjoying the day, and that's it. Right there. And we just gotta touch these guys. Right in there. So, this leg just rests right here on this leg. So, there's two little brackets. That's where it snaps in. That's where you secure it. Right there. Now, once you close it, it'll lock on its own. So, that's pretty much it. Okay, let's go inside. But before we go inside, I'm gonna hook up a bottle with propane. That way we can test the stove. Yeah. I'm gonna fire this real quick for you. Okay, let me go grab my lighter. I'll be right back. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. They were they were well done for you. Yeah. Just nice well job there. Yeah, yeah. really pro. Yeah. I wonder what uh, he's going to show us. I wonder what this piece is for. Right they will show us everything. Yeah. Inside the... Um <clears throat> now, real quick for the stove. You need one of these, right? Yeah. So you need to get your lighter or matches. Uh, pretty much you just have to manually light it. Yeah. Um, anytime you use a stove, of course, Use the vent hood to get the fumes out. Yeah. So and then I guess we should have that thing. Open <laughs> exactly. Out remember there. to unlock it. Yeah. Right yeah. now it's locked, so it's not doing anything. So, but yeah. remember to do that. Yeah. Um, once this cools off, you know you can turn this off and put the, put the cover down. Uh huh. Okay. Now for the furnace, you take it cold and you need to, you know yeah. get a little bit of heat. Uh -huh. um, basically, you go to the thermostat here. So there's a lever on the top. You just push it forward. Yeah. Doesn't sound that loud. I heard on the forum that it's really loud and yeah. like when it clicks, it does like a big click. Yeah. And now older, older units like 15 years ago, yes, they were loud. Oh yeah. That click is when one oh. that I was talking about. And then how long did it take to heat up the place? A couple of minutes. Oh, it's really? a big yeah. furnace oh, for yeah. this little trailer. Right. Right. It's at 16,000 BTUs. Yeah. It won't take it long. Yeah. Now at first, there's going to be a new smell. So when you get a chance, open up all these windows, let it run for yeah. about 30, 40 minutes. Oh. That way you get rid of that new smell. And, and, and you're going to smell it here in just a second. Yeah, yeah I'm going to smell it. Yeah. Then exactly. it'll get stronger and tr stronger after five minutes. Uh -huh. So again, you need to let it run. And this runs on either the propane or electricity? Or electricity, yeah. So right now, is it on propane? Right now, it's propane. Yeah. Now the fan works up electricity, but the heat comes from propane, just the flame. Yeah. yeah. Now, so, so I'm sorry, but it's right now it's connected to the electricity, but it still is running out of the uh, propane because yes. we have the switch off. On the, uh, oh no, no, this is the furnace. Not, uh, not, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, not the water. Another one. Now, while you run this again, just to get the the smell out, you could run this guy. Okay. See, right now it's open and, and running, but it's going really slow. You could. Turn it up really oh. fast. Yeah. Uh, this guy blows the air in or out. Right now, I believe it's blowing the air out. Uh -huh. If you want to do the opposite, there's a in or out button here that you press. What happens is now it's going to come to stop and then go the other way. Now it's going to pull air in from the outside. And again, you can slow it down or whatever you want to do. 
Uh, once you're done with this unit, there's the on and off button where you just press it and it it opens it up for you or it closes it for you. So be yeah. on a nice day. Is there a safety feature in here, a little alarm or something? There's that, two for asphyxiation right, type thing. Right above you, there's a oh, oh <laughs> the cow. right on cue. Right on cue. <laughs> yeah. Excuse it. Okay, so that's the smoke alarm. Smoke alarm? Yeah. 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 Right there. Let me go ahead and turn this off. Yeah. 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 Right there is the uh, uh, CO or carbon monoxide yeah. and a gas leak detector. Uh -huh. So the one down there, that's going to pick up pretty much the rest of the whatever's in the air. Yeah. Yeah, it is very sensitive. Heat. Okay, so there's a heater. Now when you go to the low heat, you want to make sure that the thermostat here on the back side is on the red. Kind of like an older car, right? Where you have red uh -huh. for heat and blue for oh, cold. Yeah. Um, there's different modes like low fan, high fan. And again, on the fan mode, it's just... So this one gets a little louder. But now, there's a low cool or high cool mode. And of course, when you can do that, you switch it to the blue side. I don't know if you guys heard the compressor kicked in. Yeah. And now it's going to be pumping out cold air. Yeah. That was a big compressor. Yeah. It shook that. Right. Um, you always want them open. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. So, so that's the end. And the, rest yeah, air intake and, and then, then just it just yeah. moves a lot of air. Yeah. And again, you just have the fan running when you're in here. Again, depend, depend on the weather. Yeah. If it's really cold, then turn the heater on, or if it's a nice day, you know. Right. But again, to keep that alarm, again, that is very sensitive, Yeah. have some air moving here all the time. Yeah. Is there a way to disconnect that thing? <laughs> yeah, but I'm not supposed to okay. tell you how yeah. to yeah. switch yeah, for right electric right. use. Yeah. And we talked about another switch in here for gas. Uh -huh. Right there, right beside you, right here. Right there. And there's the uh -huh. other switch that says water heater, and this is for gas use. So if you decide to fire it up on gas, you just turn it on. Very nice. And again, the switch outside is for electric. So pick yeah. one or the other. Yeah. And that's it. And this is for the gas? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sir. Now there's another little switch, which is the water pump switch. So, if you guys are at the dry camp in the water hookups and you have water in the tank, uh -huh. turn this pump on and you'll have water coming out of the faucet, the, the, the kitchen, the outside shower, the bathroom, everywhere. Oh, but when you're connected to the city water, you don't need it. You don't need the pump, no. It's a tall pressure, I said. It okay. pushes it what, for uh, you. What kind of pump does it use? It's a flow jet, flow which jet. is a 45, 50 psi yeah. system. Yeah. It's a nice. Quiet. Now, yeah. right now, you can hear it yeah. because it, it's dry. There's no water. Yeah. And once it has water, it's it just vibrates. Yeah. It's so really that, will, it, will it will it damage the pump if you run it with it no. have water? Mm -hmm. No, it won't. No, not at all. No. Try not at all. Yeah. Um, right up there, you have your you tell, your TV hookup. Um. So I see you got the bracket, so you can buy, just buy your little. 20 inch, 22 inch TV, uh -huh. and it'll fit there perfect. Yeah. And of yeah. course, you have your 110 outlet, yeah. and this uh, is a 12 volt outlet. Volt. Yeah. That's oh, a 12 volt. Okay. Yeah, yeah. The 12 volt. Yeah. 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 So, always travel with the windows closed, right? Uh -huh. So what you do, you close them, latch them, make sure they're locked. Locked. You have, you want to make sure these are always locked yeah. as you drive. We recommend that you travel with the blinds down. That's up to you. You don't have to, yeah. but when you put the blind down, see these little loops there uh -huh. at the bottom. Yeah. So put the blind down. Now the rail goes oh, through that it loop. Slides in. There. If you can. Is it, is it in there? Uh, nope. There it goes. Okay. Yeah. So same thing that here. Keeps it in place. Yeah. yeah. So what you do after that, you just tighten it down. Oh. And again, it's up to you, but. This keeps the sun outside and it keeps things from fading. It yeah. keeps it a little fresher, a little cooler yeah. during summertime. Um, 
So, but and again, that's totally up to you. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, if something spills on the. Uh, oh, these guys yeah. here. Now let me just lay them right here for, for right now. Um, we haven't talked about this, but this is your wheel. Remember, there was, there's another one up front. Oh, that's. But this is your. That's yeah. the one that. I, okay. yeah. uh, we also provide a hose. Also provide the pressure regulator. Oh, you provide one? Okay. Yep. So always use this guy. Um, we also provide a blowout plug. This is to blow the lines out for uh, for winter for winterizing the trailer. You, I don't know if you have to do that there in California, but yeah. usually guys up north where it gets really cold, they also, they blow the lines out. Also, you put it on the uh, thing and, and you the sea so water compress air. They hook up air hose oh, and that cool. blows the lines That's out. Yeah. Remember the jacks in the back, the little okay. tool, uh -huh. and a lug wrench. Oh, and in a minute we're going to use this uh, hitch lock up front. Okay. And uh, we supply a little bottle of chemicals for the toilet. And a fire extinguisher, I don't know if you can see it, but it's yeah. right here. And there's a board here that we're going to use for the for the bed in, in the back in a minute. And. Uh, I thought yeah, you guys also provide like a 30 amps adapter to. It's it's hooked up. It's hooked it's up on there. there. The adapter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the adapter is it's out there. Okay. Yeah, and in the bathroom, pretty pretty straightforward. See this little handle here? That's for your fan. So what you do before you use the fan, you push it up to open it, and then you turn it off. Turn it off, and of course. Pull it straight down. It's just close. pushing it? Yes, just pushing it and. Oh, okay. And that's the black. Uh, that's that black, black dome thing, yeah. out there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Um, of course, I always use the the shower curtain to to keep water from coming this way. Yeah, exactly. And whatever you put in there will stay dry. So that's a dry compartment, dry uh, storage area. And of course, the way the toilet works, you have the foot pedal. So before you use it, you want to put water in there. So press halfway on the pedal to put water in the bowl. Then you let go and use it. Then all the way down to flush it. Okay. okay. Any questions in the bathroom? Mm, no. And these ones don't come with a little valve that they put over there to... Oh no. Oh, no, 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 to okay. uh, cut off valve, yeah, yeah, we don't, we don't supply those, we don't use them. Okay. Um, I've, I've seen a lot of guys do that, which is, which makes sense. Yeah. Um, let me show you how the... Uh, the light turns off uh, when you close the door? No, or, no, no, you have, have to do manually, um, do oh, that okay. every time, okay. yeah. Um, the fridge, which is pretty straightforward, you control it from right here, from this little panel. So you don't have to go anywhere else. Now, the first button, that's the on and off, okay? So we know it's on because there's lights. Yeah. Now, for stationary use, like right now, we're stopped, have it on auto. When it's on auto, it's gonna pick between AC or gas, okay? As long as you're hooked up electricity, it'll always do, it, it always go there. So it prefers electricity. If there's no electricity, then it goes to gas. So, so you, don't, the, you don't have to switch it yourself? It does that for you. Yeah. Now, for travel mode, when you guys are on the road, see that button in the middle? Press it once. Press to DC. Mm -hmm. Press to DC. So you have to manually switch it to to DC. To DC. And how how long will it run on DC? Uh, as long as you're driving. Oh, it could be exactly. Yeah. Now, if you're stopped like right now, but not hooked up electricity, not hooked up to your car. This refrigerator running on DC, it will kill your battery in, in, in uh, about an hour or so, just depending on where the battery was. Yeah. yeah. So the only time you use DC is while you drive. As soon as you come to a stop and you kill the engine, you need to switch it back to auto. Otherwise it'll an hour kill will. the battery. <laughs> right. Yeah, so keep an eye on that, just be careful. Um, temperature settings, you decide how cold you want it. And other than that, it's a nice size fridge. There's a little oh, freezer that's, here. That's cool. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Sweet. 
and when you close it, make sure you always hear this, oh, that, that little click. click. Mm -hmm. yeah. That tells you the door is locked. Yeah. Any questions on the fridge? Right above it, there's a compartment, of course. A lot of guys end up putting the microwave, a little toaster, and there's an outlet. So there's a plug, so you can plug something in. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, Any questions on the inside that you can think of? No, this one, you're going to show us how to close yeah. this off. Yeah, to put that down, um, let me get rid of these. Now, you can travel with them up or, or, or with the bunk beds up. Or down, it's up to you. But um, now bear with me. I haven't done yeah. this in a while. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I've yeah. seen a lot of these. That's a different yeah. option. So um, you get rid of the little chains. Hang on to the rail. What you're gonna do? You're gonna fold the rail down. You can have to hang on to the, the bed. Now, I don't know if you can see yeah, under there, there's a clip. Ah, little clip. Yeah. So what you do, this goes there, and then this hook goes right there. And then you just fold this and push it and pull this thing out a little bit. And that's your couch. Wow. Yeah, so it's a nice couch yeah. or a bed uh, or the bunk bed. Yeah. And of course, you can, I mean, there's a lot of storage under there, so yeah. plenty of storage. Uh, yeah, you have to lid to get to it that way. To get to it. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, that's, it can be, uh, again, you can travel with it uh, as a couch or as a bunk bed. Yeah. That's totally up to you. Yeah. Um, you can store it. Here or in the closet. Cool. Yeah. Is that nice? Uh, uh, let me uh, move out of the way. You can show them how to do this table. Here. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So there's this board here. legs for right now I'm gonna uh, leave them up here <clears throat> now if I show if I tell you how to do the bed I'm gonna show you what's down here real quick of course you have the uh, alarm there but here you have oh, breakers and fuses okay so all the breakers are labeled here and all the fuses are labeled right there uh, now notice that a couple of breakers were turned off one is labeled spare, so there's really nothing on that, so it really doesn't matter. But the other one's labeled water heater. The reason why we have this water heater breaker turned off is because there is no water in the water heater. So you do not want to accidentally turn it on. So until you put water in there, you can turn the breaker on, then the switch outside. So again, until you do that, but for right now, you don't want to do that. Any questions on that? No. All right. And right next door, you have access to the back of the water heater the water pump so um you know in the event that somebody needs to service it then you, they have access to that right there okay other than that there's no storage okay. in reality so how do you open this thing up you, you, you just, just twist, twist it twist yeah it? Oh, okay. it's a little okay. hard but yeah okay yeah okay now this little board goes all the way to the back let me scoot over a little bit. <clears throat> and that's the bed. So it's pretty much a double bed or a full size bed. And of course you just gain a little bit of room in there for storage. storage. Yeah. So a lot of people put boxes, containers. Yeah. When the, when, the, when the table is up, that little section of wood typically stores up here. Right. right. Up now, this is usually a, a bed, permanent bed, but that's all up to you. Yeah. But yeah, get rid of that, put it in the closet. Uh -huh. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Usually this is a, always a bed, usually. Yeah. yeah. Um, let's go outside and let's hitch it up. Okay. And um, we'll just keep going. Yeah. Yeah. Inch ball, so so of course you always remove the wheel. Pull the pin now, and make sure you crank this all the way up. Always cross the chains, right? We give you a lot. <clears throat> so. so always put a lock on there. So here's your key. So of course, uh, from here you have lights and turn signals and everything. We give you this little strap right here. You don't have to use it, but uh, if you do, if you do use it, it's gonna keep the cord from accidentally pulling out. So this goes right there, and then you just tighten it down. Okay. Um, breakaway. Everybody does this a little different, but the way I do it, uh, right there where the chains go, I just loop it through there once, and then I go right back to itself with this clip. So you'll have plenty of slack when you make turns. Let's Sway bar is it uh, fairly effective? It's very effective. Yeah, is it? yeah, yeah. There is definitely something. Yeah. That I would always recommend. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. It's real simple. Silver to silver, paint it to the paint it. And then you have the two pins, one on each side, basically just to keep it from falling. And all you have to do to it is turn the handle clockwise, and all you're going to do is snug it. So the way I do it with two fingers, I just keep turning until I feel a lot of resistance, uh -huh. and then I kind of back it off just a little bit. Yeah. Uh, so all this is, is just like a shock, uh, just like an absorber. Absorber, yeah. Yeah, so it, it just keeps it from swinging. Yeah. So that's really all you... Yeah. All you need, just friction. That's all it is, just friction. Uh -huh. okay. um, uh, any questions on the hitch part? Oh, shit, I, I suppose this should be taken off and stored. Exactly, yes. Not just so they get stolen. Exactly, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. this is basically used for a high, uh, this just meant to be used on a highway. Uh huh. When you're driving around town, you need to take it off. It's not doing anything for you. If oh. you're driving through the mountains, it's not doing anything. Oh, so just, just on the highway? Highway. Okay. Highway. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, if you want to tuck that, yeah, just kind of loosen it. And that's what a lot of guys do. Oh. And the... You're missing the knot. Yeah. Hang on, let me get a little knot. Slide it over. And... Uh, you just hook it right there. So that's pretty much it. Now, once you have yeah. gas in there, loosen those up, push them out of the way. Oh, you can access it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, he bought the other thing. Put in some water. Yeah, that's full. 
Yeah. Okay, Paul has taken over the wheels. Kendra, say hi. Hi. Really go hi. To everybody. Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. You can see it on the back. And Arizona. Petrified Forest National Park. Huh? 45 minutes. I got one in Argentina. Yeah. But it's a big petrified forest. So they have the. Uh... Before I go, I'm gonna leave you with this uh, fast uh, forward video of a Salt River Canyon in Arizona. I think uh, there are some spectacular views over there, and it was very fun going down and up the canyon with the casita and seeing how the um, how my uh, Ford Explorer. Uh, worked uh, to slow down uh, all the load. It was pretty, pretty nice. And uh, the final shots are uh, when we went through a, a sandstorm in Winslow, Arizona, just leaving Arizona and entering into California on the way to San Diego on the Highway 8. So thank you very much and I hope you enjoy the video.